I've managed to save some of my seeds that I planted the very first round. I know that's pitiful. That's all I've got. The one underneath there is all okra seeds I just planted. This is also okra. And this is also okra. And now I am recycling all the rest of the dirt. But I'm also mixing it with this other dirt that I haven't used yet or that had plants die. I'm recycling. I'm mixing it all together because this is not really bad dirt. It's just kind of clay and clumps together. So I think it'll be fine if I just mix it all together. I'm hoping that um, I'll still get the good stuff out of it, but it won't be so clumpy. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm mixing dirt and recycling it and planting more seeds. Spilled it by accident. That's okay. Hey Jesse, look up at me. Tell me what you're doing. Um, mixing. What are you mixing? Um, 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 this and this. The two kinds of dirt? Yeah, but the other one on top of it. Mm -hmm. And I get to mix it with you. With you helping me. You're helping me, and I'm helping you. Yeah. Good teamwork, huh? Yeah. You've done a good job. But when everyone wakes up, then you have cake. We want, we want to have cake when everyone wakes up? Yeah. <laughs> You're just a cakeaholic, aren't you? I am pooped. I've been planting out on the back porch, so it's so nice right now. I wanted to come and get some fresh air away from the kids. They're noisy in the backyard. Um, before it rains, it's supposed to rain in a little while. But I wanted to share with you what I planted. Um, and a lot of these I planted two or three per cup, and I can thin them out after they sprout. Um, but I wanted to get as many seeds planted as I could. So I planted 108 okra seeds that um, is two different varieties. I planted orange jing and Clemson spineless. Uh, 74 peppers. I can't say the name of one of them, but there's a, some red and yellow of that one. And lilac bell peppers. I planted a lot of those. Uh, then 16 tomatoes. I used up all my tomato seeds that first time and then most of them died. I still have a few, but most of those died. So I'll have to hit up my friend Mandy for some 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 seedlings that she always grows a lot and she lives close here close to here uh, in fact she gave me the jelly melon seeds i planted 21 of those and i still have a few left um and i didn't write it down what was the last thing um what was that last thing i planted oh cucumbers i planted um 45 bait alpha cucumbers and 45 dragon egg, dragon egg cucumbers, and those also came from Mandy. Thanks, Mandy. Um, man, I wish she had a YouTube or a blog or something so I could give a shout out to her site and you could go see it. But anyway, she's a good friend. We've been friends forever, and she gives me all kinds of seeds every year. And so, um, anyway, I guess that's it. And the reason that I plant these is because some of them, like the jelly melon, that's more of an experiment. Um, because I don't think I've tasted it before. Mandy's been growing them for at least a couple of years, but I have not tasted any, and this will be my first year growing them, so it's kind of an experiment. Um, the tomatoes, we love, well, a couple of us love tomatoes, and this particular variety, Berries Crazy Cherry Tomatoes, um, I got from Baker Creek, and they're supposed to produce, like, a lot, so I'm looking forward to those. The peppers, um, peppers and tomatoes, if I can get some more tomatoes. Um, I want to make some salsa, and I don't like spicy tomatoes. None of us really like hot, spicy things. Um, I can take a little bit of spice, but not much. And then the okra, we just love it. Uh, 108 plants. I hope they all sprout because I'm hoping that might be enough. <laughs> we love okra here. We'll eat it straight off the plant, raw. It's so, so good. We'd probably, most of us would probably like it pickled. 
And I like I like it pickled, but I hardly ever get it that way. We barely even make it inside with it because we just eat it straight off the plant. It is so good. And it's not slimy like most people would think. It's just good. It's just really good. So that's what I've got planted so far. I've also got in the works uh, ready to plant. Um, I need some more dirt, though. My dirt's not good enough, at least not by itself. Um, an American homestead, uh, the Fat Baby Achocha seeds, Achocha, however you say it. This is actually the third year we've ordered it. Um, the first two years they sprouted great, but one year I, I forgot about them. And the, the, I think it was last, or maybe it was the first year, yeah, last year I forgot about them. The first year, um, I had some of them grown up really tall, but I had them in the living room with the kids and they just didn't last <laughs> so I, I just can't do that once they sprout I got to get them out of there um, so this is my third attempt on those I'm kind of embarrassed for having to order them so much but this year it's gonna happen I have I think 24 seeds I ordered two packs I think there's 12 in each pack maybe there's 15 I don't remember but I ordered two packs of those and then I also still have to plant um, some beans squash and corn and I want to do the three sisters and then I have um, have some pumpkin seeds I have some Lady Godiva and the reason that I ordered those is because those are considered the um, naked seeds they don't have a, a shell on them you can just eat them straight raw or um, you can roast them or whatever but um, it's a good survival food very good nutritious plant so um and i like pumpkin anyway so we are going to have pumpkin and seeds out of that and i'm looking forward to that one um and i know oh some watermelons some watermelon and some uh like a musk melon cantaloupe type melon um i can't remember the name of that one hagadol or something it's an israel one and then the watermelon i've got uh, the orange glow with the orange flesh mm, so good we had some little ones a couple of years ago and my soil wasn't that great so they didn't get very big but they tasted amazing and I think that's most all that I'm gonna plant uh, some of the earlier things that already died I might replant some if I have some seeds left like the tomatoes I didn't I didn't have very many of those left but uh, I guess that's it for this season so far um i may have left a couple things out but basically it's what we'll eat and it's what's nutritious and i mean there's not really a lot of mystery to it whatever we'll eat I'll, and whatever i can grow i will plant i'm also gonna i am also gonna grow some indian sour jerkins if you saw my video on that last fall those things pretty much grow themselves they are so easy i can't kill those <laughs> i probably could but i'm not gonna try um, but those actually came from Mandy as well, and she gave me some plants, and I just put them in the ground, and, um, I think I kind of forgot about them, because there was a lot of weeds. I did really bad last year, I'm trying to do better, but, uh, so bad. But anyway, they just took over my garden, and I didn't even know what it was at first. Uh, they just took over, and they taste good. They're real small, but they have like 200 seeds per fruit, and, and they taste like uh, they taste like a cucumber, kind of like a cucumber, and they're just good. They're easy to grow, and it, it's a great it's great for me because I can't grow a lot, <laughs> but I'm working on it. But there's there's uh, what I'm planting and why I'm planting it, and I will get updates as we go. Give you updates as we go, and hopefully won't kill too many. Thanks for watching. Bye.